we are going to be looking at yet another product that Instagram made me buy. This is a DIY pest control that you mix up and spray all on your own. Welcome back to another Jaff Reviews for you. And as you saw, we are looking at Pesty. And for those of you that don't know what that is, it's a DIY pest control, man, that you just do it all by yourself. Very cool. Enough talk. Let's get right into this review. You know what's funny? I wasn't originally gonna review the Pesty product. I was just gonna be using it as a consumer, but after my first run through with it, I thought it had pretty good success. And then my next shipment actually came in. So what I wanna do is I wanna show you what came in my original box, which is this one down here. And this box just arrived in the mail a few days ago. When you get your first box, you're gonna have a Pesty application gloves. You're gonna have the Demand Duo, which is the insecticide. There is a sprayer head right here. And of course there's a bag where you put your water in, and then you add your solution. After your first use, you're actually gonna dispose of your bag, your gloves and the solution, but you're gonna keep the pesty sprayer head in its bag until you get your next kit. It does not get resent with another one of these sprayers. So it's important to put these aside. I am gonna walk you through how to utilize your Pesty system, but I first wanted to show you the sprayer. I've seen a few of these online and most of the people are just spraying like this. I don't know if they realize this thing actually extends, so you can have an extendable wand because most people just have it in there. However, if you need it, you just pull it out and there you go. Of course, on the top, here's your on off and there you go. You can see it has a battery indicator in case the batteries on run low and you have to recharge it. Your recharging port is actually all the way back here. It is a USB-C connection. I did want to show you that it does come with its own gloves. We talked about that earlier. They are latex free nitrile gloves. They just happen to be a little small for me. So I have my own, but they do include it, which I do appreciate. However, I wish it was a bigger size. First step we're gonna do is we're gonna fill up our pesty bag. I just have the garden hose right here rolling. There is a fill line at the top. We're gonna make sure we fill up the water all the way to the top. This bag will start to expand as you're filling and it should end up standing on its own. As you can see, I'm a little bit below the fill line and that's because I need to add my pesticide. And so what you do is you add this little tiny bottle. Let me open mine up real fast. Inside the bottle, you can see the brown pesticide right there. We're gonna fill this right into our bag. I do this very carefully as not to spill any, pouring it right in that bag. So now our next step is actually, we're gonna fill up this little tiny bottle about three times to make sure we get all the pesticide out. All I did was take my hose, filled it up with water. I wanna rinse this out so we get all that stuff in there a couple more times. Now that I filled up the bottle, I only have a little bit more water to add. I can do that right now, but make sure you don't overflow. Then we'll put on our sprayer cap. Now that we attached our sprayer, we want to make sure we mix up the ingredients here. So I just shake it a few times just so I know it's all incorporated throughout. Now that we're all mixed up, let's start spraying. The directions tell us to go up about two feet on the house, go down to the ground and come out two feet from the house. You want to do this all over. Right now I have it on a fine mist setting so it sprays pretty evenly. Make sure you get your entire wall covered as well as the ground. Now that I've thoroughly sprayed this area, I'm gonna shut it off and move on to the next area. As you're spraying, you might notice that you see some inconsistent spray patterns where it's dry, then wet, then dry, then wet. What I do is I make sure I completely saturate it so I will go over that spot again. Also, any spot that there's a hole in your house because an installer has put in, like this is the air conditioning line, I make sure to go over this really well. Now, not all installers are created equal. This installer actually did a really good job sealing it, but I still pay extra special attention here. I also take the time to go around the base of my windows all the way around just to ensure that if any bugs decide to crawl up here, they're not going to come in to at least the bottom here of the windows. I can't reach the top, but I attack it from the bottom. An important part of pest control is actually keeping all bushes and shrubbery off your house. So I make sure to trim mine at least a couple feet away. I was going to film this video last weekend, but this area is filled with an excessive amount of poison ivy. I've since sprayed that now it's all dead so I can come in here and spray the Pesty. Don't forget to spray up and down on your garage door. Even though you think that might not make sense, bugs could come around this area too. I just spent the last 45 minutes spraying the exterior of my house and I have just a little bit of the solution left. My house is around 2,200 square feet just to give you a gauge of what to expect. Pesty says that I don't have to spray the inside, but if I want to, I can just make sure the area that sprayed is dry to the touch before you let pets or children or anyone around 
the area. I'm actually going to go spray some more of the exterior because I want to spray right up to the siding. Also, I should have said this before, but Pessy says make sure it's not going to rain. So I always, when I do this, make sure, man, I'm going to have a great day. So this is going to dry. You need about 30 to 45 minutes. So tell me, what are your thoughts of Pesty? Do you like it? Are you thinking about it? Do you have something else that works a whole lot better? Let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. I want to show you the best I can the different sprays. So if we just turn it on right now, I'm going to mist. I should say this is just water. I'm actually cleaning it out. But as you turn it, you can get a nice stream there. See how that is? And you turn it back to the left and you get your fan. I typically spray with it this way, but if I need to get into an area that I can't reach, I'll go to the straight stream. After you're all done, it's important to rinse out your handle. I just rinsed out the bag, filled it back up with water because I'm just gonna be rinsing this out. But I do this a couple times just to make sure there's no more of the pesticide in the lines so I'm ready for storage. After rinsing it out a few times, I now take the entire tube out of the bag and I turn it on just to try to pull any additional liquid out there. I don't want it stored in there when I have it for the next three months. So I'm just rinsing out all the rest of the water. The bag and the pesticide box I'm gonna throw away as for the handle, I'm gonna go put it in the bag. In this video, we are looking at Pesty. So what did I think of it? First things first, let's talk about that price point. There are three different purchasing options. The least expenses is if you choose to do the whole year and you have to pay up for around $136 and you get four shipments. So it's right around $34 a shipment. You can also choose to pay shipment at a time at $39. So you get it and then you'll get another one a few months later and, that, and so forth and they'll charge you $39. You could also choose just to buy one. I'm gonna try it and I'm not gonna get locked into anything. It's right around $50. In my opinion, those price points were actually pretty decent. I ended up looking for one of these type of things because I used to have a, a company that came to my house. Well, then it changed hands a few different times and the last customer service for me just was not very good. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna find something else. And I stumbled across Pesty. I actually wasn't gonna review it until my second shipment came in and I got a notification on the email that it's gonna be coming in. I'm thinking, you know what? I sprayed this back in May and I really haven't seen any bugs. That stuff's pretty impressive. I will say about a week after I got the product in the mail, I did notice a few spiders popping up here and there. So you know what? Their timing was perfect. Speaking of the other company, I would pay $100 every few months instead of 40 bucks that I'm paying with Pesty. So I love saving the $60. I really like that the chemical makeup of their product is really geared towards your house and your climate or your area. And they say this is specifically for you and where you live. Make sure you spray it on time. The setup is quick and easy and I appreciate that they come with everything that you need to spray the product. The one applicator bottle works perfect for my size house. I'm able to spray around the entire outside, around windows and doors, and there's just a little left over just for finishing touches. If your house is a little bigger, they do recommend doubling your plan just so you can do more. Dusty says now, that this is child and pet safe, but that's after it dries. So it's important not to let children or animals or even adults on it when it's still wet. Just make sure you do maintain safety because it is a pest control substance. Anyway, that was my full review of Pesty. If this is something that interests you, I will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for you. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. As I was prepping to put this away, I checked the battery and you can see that I'm two out of four of the lights on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge this up fully so it's ready for the next time my shipment comes in. Just so you know, as you're charging, it's going to be blinking, letting you know how full it is. You can see that we are three quarters full. Once the last part is fully charged, all four lights will just remain on. All four lights lit up and then they went off, which tells us that it is charged. Time to put it away in our handy dandy storage bag. To make it easy for me, I'm putting it all back in the box that it came from and putting this in my closet. And in a few months when my next bag and product comes, I can set it all up again. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of Pesty. And as I was spraying outside. I sure came across my air conditioner. It reminded me of my recent video when I cleaned those coils. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link that video right up here. And I would love it if you would click on this link. And when you do, by the magic of the internet, I'm going to join you right here. So go ahead, click it. It's safe. I promise.